Elimination Chamber has been one of the most important things about WWE. Every year, WWE organizes an Elimination Chamber and it has become an integral part of WWE programming. But there has been some Elimination Chamber matches that have been just outstanding and we need to see that. So here are some Elimination Chamber matches that you need to watch before you die. Elimination Chamber 2014 was a very unique chamber match because this was the first time when two titles was on the line inside an Elimination Chamber. This chamber was special for Daniel Bryan because he was the person who was feuding with the champion at that time. The match started with Sheamus and Cesaro and then Daniel Bryan joins them. Bryan was injured from the shoulder area. He was thrown on the chamber pod shoulder first. Then Christian joins the match and from the moment the match started, the only people who had the chance to win this match was Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan and John Cena. In this whole match, Bryan was acting like an underdog and Sheamus was acting like a dominant guy. Daniel Bryan even kicked out of Christian's kill switch. Some notable moments of this match were Sheamus Brock kicking the pod and Christian doing a frog splash from the top of the chamber pod in the match. Randy Orton was acting like a scared guy who was afraid of losing his championship. At the end, Randy Orton took a little help of Kane to perform an RKO and won that match. Overall, great match. SummerSlam 2003 also featured an Elimination Chamber match and this chamber had a really great story. So this match was made for Goldberg. This match was completely built to show how great Goldberg is, how powerful Goldberg is and how fearless Goldberg is. So the match started with Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels and this match was going on with a slow speed. Kevin Nash got eliminated but the speed of the match didn't change until Goldberg arrived. Goldberg arrives and eliminates everybody. Jack Hammer and Spear was everywhere. He even speared Jericho through the chamber pod and at the end only Triple H was left. Goldberg was so close to defeat him but when Goldberg was going for his spear, Triple H got a sledgehammer in his hand and attacked Goldberg with that sledgehammer, stealing the victory and retaining his championship. The next great elimination chamber match you need to watch is No Way Out 2009. No Way Out 2009 featured two Elimination Chamber matches of Raw and SmackDown. But here we are specially talking about the SmackDown one. This match is one of the best Elimination Chamber matches of all time. Jeff Hardy and Edge started this match and the start was fire. Jeff Hardy and Edge were unloading on each other. They were trying to eliminate each other in the starting moments. And Jeff Hardy even did that. Jeff Hardy reversed Ed Spear into a small package and eliminated him. There was not even a single entrant involved in the match. In the first three minutes of the match, Edge was eliminated. After this comes Vladimir Kozlov, Big Show and Triple H. But the real fun started when Undertaker came. Undertaker was beating everybody. The DDT that Undertaker gave to Big Show on the steel was also outstanding. The superplex to Big Show was amazing and Jeff Hardy even gave a Swanton bomb from the top of the chamber pot but couldn't be in the match till then. The last two guys left in the match was Undertaker and Triple H. And guess what who won? Triple H gives a pedigree and won the match clean. Triple H is really god of Elimination Chamber. His performances are really superior in the Elimination Chamber match. Now let's talk about the next chamber match. The next chamber match was Elimination Chamber 2017 and it was definitely a star-studded Elimination Chamber match. But the biggest thing about this Elimination Chamber was the winner. The winner was Bray Wyatt. Everybody wanted to see a new champion and WWE made that good decision by giving Bray Wyatt the win. You can see in this match some breathtaking spots and you can see John Cena jumping from the pot. The crowd was behind Bray Wyatt and at the end Bray Wyatt reversed that phenomenal forearm into a sister Abigail and won that match. And the next match you definitely need to watch is Survivor Series 2002 Elimination Chamber match. This match was absolutely insane. This match was super duper awesome. So this was the first inaugural Elimination Chamber match and hats off to Triple H. A really outstanding performance by Triple H. He even injured his throat in this match. He was not able to breathe. Still this guy went on and completed the match. The match started with Van Damme and Triple H and the match is definitely worth a watch. Shawn Michaels was till the end, eliminated most of the guys and at the end somehow won the match by giving a switch in music and winning the World Heavyweight Championship. So this was the best Elimination Chamber matches of all time. Definitely give a watch if you have time. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you have liked this video. Till then, see you soon.